Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can improve your mouse control by making some changes to your setup and by adjusting your sense to fit whatever setup you have. I made up this method for some of my friends and it helped them out a lot, so hopefully it helps you too. Let's get it. First thing I wanna talk about is your setup. The main thing that should determine what your sensitivity is is the amount of mouse space that you have. To optimize your mouse control, you should try to have as much mouse space as possible. I literally have almost two feet by two feet of mouse space, and I did this on purpose. I bought an extra, extra large mouse pad that covers my entire desk. I moved my monitors to the outer edges of my desk and my keyboard to the far left edge of my desk, leaving the most space possible for my mouse. Some people may have smaller desks, which is totally fine, and I'll explain how to make optimal sense for everyone, even the people with small desks. But if you have the luxury to increase the amount of space you have on your desk, definitely do it. One last thing, which is going to sound really weird, but it helps me a lot in multiple ways, is wearing a long sleeve polyester shirt while gaming. My room is cold as F, and one day I tried wearing this type of shirt. It's like that really, really smooth material. And when I used it, my arm glided across my desk so well, and I was warmer while playing, so it's a double win. <laughs> so now let's actually talk about the sensitivity. How should you be determining a good sense for yourself? I'll talk about targeting sense a little later. For those of you wondering, my sensitivity is 8 X and Y and 800 DPI. To find your sense that fits your desk space, you should hop into creative and adjust your sensitivity and DPI until you can spin like one and a half to two times when moving your mouse from one side of your mouse space to the other, just like I do here. This gives you enough room to do a full 360 without hitting anything on your desk, while also keeping your sensitivity low enough to be able to have accurate flicks. I recommend not having your sensitivity to be anything more than 800 dpi, 15 x and y. And the reason for this is if your sensitivity is too high, the sensors on your mouse might not be able to accurately pick up micro movements. Basically, the technical explanation is when your mouse is gliding over the mouse pad, sometimes it skips over fibers, and when it skips over a fiber and you're on a high sensitivity, it's a lot more noticeable and can cause shakiness. Having a higher sensitivity also causes more human error because it's like micro movements that determine whether or not you're going to hit your shot, you know what I mean? It's the difference of moving one millimeter versus moving like an inch or two. If you're moving an inch or two, you'll be able to calculate that better because humans aren't perfect to get those micro movements down. Consistently, that is. Sure, your builds may feel more comfortable on a higher sense, but aim is even more important because if you can't hit your shots consistently, you won't be able to finish fights consistently. And if you get 50-50, like you probably are gonna lose a lot of those 50-50s because of inaccurate aim. So my biggest recommendation is having sense between like 6 to 12 X and Y and 800 DPI, but you can go up to like 15 or even higher if you have balls of steel, but I wouldn't recommend it. And if your mouse is shaky a lot of the time when you're playing, you should definitely lower your sensitivity. If you end up switching to a new sense because of this video, don't give up on it real quick. It takes a while to get used to a new sense and get consistent with it, but this video gives you the stepping stones to finding a perfect sense that works best for you in the long run. If you guys are switching from a much higher sense to one of these lower sensitivities, you're probably going to be struggling with builds. This will take some getting used to, but you might be struggling because you're a wrist player. A lot of high sense players only use their wrist while playing. When playing on a medium sense like this, you need to move the mouse with your arm while building and make micro movements when aiming with your wrist. It's easier to calculate big movements with the arm than micro movements with the wrist. There's more error when dealing with small movements than large. And at first you're probably gonna be like, oh my god, like this is way worse, like I can only play with my wrist. But it just takes getting used to, you know, it's a new skill to build, and it'll definitely help you in the long run. If you watch a lot of pro players, like they use their wrist for micro movements, but you see them just moving their arm all around. And the reason is, is because that's the best way to play. But again, don't get mad. This is just my opinion. If you don't agree with me, just ignore what I'm saying. Just go on with your day. But now let's talk about AR aim and targeting sense. I play around 40% targeting sense, and this helps me to track better. It's similar to just figuring out your X and Y sensitivity. Say you're playing and your arm keeps running into your keyboard or the side of your desk, you may need to raise your sense a bit so that it's not hitting your keyboard while you're playing, because that ain't it. But also, if your AR aim is shaky, you're gonna need to lower your sense because having shaky AR aim is not it. And that used to happen to me back in the day, until I fixed it. 
I always thought it was my mouse or my mouse pad. And sure, if you don't have a good mouse, like that may be an issue, but it was also my sensitivity was too high. And when I lowered it, I saw that the shakiness just went away. But it's just like shoddy aim, it's gonna take some getting used to and running aim labs, Kovax or Scovax creative map can help with this. And the Raiders box fight practice map is the best map for getting used to edits, builds, and shoddy aim, stuff like that. So I'll link the Scovax map and the Raiders box fight map in the description. Hopefully this video helps you out. I had a lot of requests for this in the comments. So if you're switching to a new sense, good luck and grind hard. The more you practice in creative and Kovacs, the faster you're gonna get used to it. Drop video ideas in the comments, like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Feel free to drop by my Twitch to hang out sometime. I host Zone Wars once or twice a week on there. But yeah, have a good one. Peace.